Um, well, my name is uh, Javier Weyler. I'm um, originally a, a drummer. I've been a drummer over 25, 26 years of my life. Uh, I'm also a sound engineer and a producer, and I've been um, engineering for about 14, 15 years now since I've been in London. Well, I have tried several um, phone products before, and the big the biggest difference I will say I, I heard actually with the um, acoustic fields it was for some reason the whole mid range and um, high range as well of, of the whole frequency it was much tighter and defined uh, and the whole mix in general it's like everything sort of sunk into place a bit better than without any acoustic treatment whatsoever. And that was like the first first impression I got from it. And then from a physical point of view, that as, as, as soon as I started managing the material, I noticed that the density of the foam is different than all the ones I actually tried in the past. The biggest difference I, I, I felt, uh, not only in vocals, but other instruments as well, like drums and, and, and so on, it just uh, makes the, the, the room sound much more natural. And uh, for instance, a vocal tends to sit better in a track, or at least you get, I would say, not perhaps sit better in the track, but perhaps it just your whole mix just becomes clearer, and it's, there's more definition within the different instruments and different frequencies, and obviously helps you as an engineer or producer to actually get your mix sounding right because you have a better knowledge of where things are, basically. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. The, the, the frequency response just becomes more natural. It's, uh, I think you basically tune in the room much easier than with other products I used in the past. And uh, everything becomes a bit more clearer and, and natural, really. Because obviously there's no a, a single space that is a perfect scenario to listen to music. And yes, we can have an amazing studio built up, but once you actually listen to your music at home, like everyone does, it's always going to be a square box and products like this actually makes it much easier to enjoy the music and actually appreciate it for what it is better without having to get too technical about it. Well, I have used the acoustic field phone for two things. For the monitoring section in the control room, which is just all around the console and the back of the speakers and so on. And that actually made a huge um, impact on, on the mixes as such. Uh, everything became clearer and tighter and more controlled. Uh, and then also I've been using the, the phone for other things as well uh, in the recording uh, environment um, around the drum kits, uh, especially where, where you have a lot of loud frequencies, bouncing of walls and so on, and it helps you control and make the room sound much more natural than, than usual. Uh, and also I have used it for some degree of separation as well. Um, I, record, I, I was recording a session with, um, with um, a singer that was playing uh, the guitar and the singing at the same time, and with two different microphones, one for the vocal, one for the instrument. And uh, to avoid face issues and also gain more separation, I used some of the phones in between the two microphones. And that actually helped a lot with the recording because it made a bit more clear the, the, the each source going into each mic without actually becoming isolated and without affecting the face as, as such. So it just that that in itself it, it helped quite a lot actually. Uh, well, another thing I'm really looking forward, which I haven't actually tried yet, is the carbon um, boxes that uh, Dennis is doing with acoustic fields, um, especially because they, they, they um, are aimed at controlling all the bass and the bottom end and so on. And uh, I think I particularly will benefit from that in the studio. But in general, I think it, it could be quite interesting thing because you also can adapt them and move, move them around the, the studio without having a, a physical uh, fixed setup in terms of acoustics. And I think that's quite quite clever way of playing around with the studio you have, you know what I mean? Well, I, I started drumming when I was 13 years old, so I've been doing it for over 25 years now. Um, and uh, as a sound engineer, I've been doing that for, well, since the beginning of being a drummer, really, but 
properly, I would say, for 14 years since I uh, moved to London. And uh, my experiences here, in the, in, I, I've been quite lucky to actually um, be in London for that long and be able to, to work in so many studios, not only uh, as a musician, but also as an engineer. Uh, and I worked studios back then, like Bon Chon Congenius, this people call BJG, and, uh, and then become Sahara Sound. So I was part of the whole refurbish refurbishment of the studio and got involved in the, in the whole installation process as well. Um, and then I, uh, as a musician, I worked in, in many, many legendary studios, like from Abbey Road to Air Studios and, and SARM and, and, and so on. Um, but uh, I came, obviously, to, to, to the point that you sort of needed a creative hub as such, and that's why I came with the idea of having my own place called Beat Factory, where I can basically do everything from recording, producing, and also mix, um, and very accessible and everything with a really close range without having to go to a really big facility as such. And that's actually where acoustic fields come in hand quite, quite well, I think. Um, they actually provide you with products that you can adapt to your needs quite easily without having to go to the really high level of standards that you will get by, by going to a proper studio that's going to be millions and millions of pounds. <laughs> Somehow along the process, I always fell in love with equipment and, and, the, and, and the whole process of recording and hence why I ended up coming to London to study sound engineering, which I've been doing about 14 years now or so. And um, uh, luckily enough, it's uh, to my career to actually be being able to be a, a part of a band like Stereophonics for eight and a half years and also having worked in many studios before. It has allowed me to not only be close to technology, but also be close to amazing artists, producers and engineers and studios like Abbey Road or Metropolis or Townhouse and Air Studios. And um, all of that is always um, a good input for, for anyone that loves music as such. Not, not only the creative process of it as well, but how it, things get done and, and, the, and, the, and the mystical stories be, behind every studio, how they're built and so on. Uh, well, Beat Factory is my studio, and it's basically a more a creative hub uh, than actually standard studio as such. I just needed to get a place where I can have all my instruments, drums, guitars, pianos, and so on, plus all the recording equipment, everything in one place that I can actually just plug and play and record without having the need to, to go somewhere else to do it and keep the creative process flowing as much as possible also allows me to do any post-production I want to do for, for films or TV and mix my own music and someone else's music as well. So, so really it's just like a quite dynamic place to have where you can actually cover all bases of, of uh, audio as such. Um, and not necessarily you have to just be one thing all the time, just be a drummer. You can actually wear many hats and that's the whole purpose of actually this studio, to actually have a uh, audio, sound audio creative studio basically.